I played Meta Horizons in 2024, and here's what I thought. So for those of you who don't know, this is basically Facebook slash Meta's big push for the metaverse. I think this is the closest thing that we got to what we were promised as to what the metaverse is. Um, but still, this thing is not perfect. So I'm excited to share with you guys my experience of trying a lot of different maps, and I'll give you guys a pretty well-rounded opinion. So let's waste no time and get started. First thing, I really do enjoy the graphics of this game. I think the colors are amazing. I think this experience is really well designed. The art style is really unique and bright and vibrant. Along with that, I also feel like the user interface, they did a really good job with. Everything works pretty well. It runs pretty smooth. So I'm certainly a fan of how it looks and how it runs. Along with that, the potential of this game is literally almost limitless. Whether it is a year away or it's 10 years away, my goodness, this thing is gonna be something great at some point in time. And I am willing to guarantee that. Now, at the same time in 2024, I almost wouldn't say that it's worth playing consistently. It is worth experiencing for yourself and seeing some of the cool features like that this thing has to offer, such as the various worlds, the really cool games, but, it doesn't really entice you enough to make it a long-term experience. So the games that Meta Horizons has are really unique. They differ a lot in style, and some of them are a blast. Two of my favorites were the one was the Battle Rumble, where it was like a free-for-all style, shoot, first-person shooter kind of game. Really enjoyed that, really arcadey, just fun. And the other game I really enjoyed was Wiffle Ball Golf. It was basically golf, but they give you a paddle and you hit the ball and play it like golf. That was an absolute blast as well. Now, here are some downsides of that. First off, there are so many games on the App Store that are more polished than that. And this really is no different than a lot of the games available on the Quest. Along with that, this experience in almost all worlds is still super buggy. In both the games that I played, I experienced a ton of bugs. On the racket ball, or excuse me, the golf game, the game doesn't even load in half the time and you have to reboot the world just to get your racket to appear. Not anything against the makers of this world, it just goes to show that Meta Horizons is just not ready yet. The next thing I wanna talk about are the live experiences that this has to offer. So the main two attractions, or I guess three, are music, so it's like live concerts, live sports with NBA, UFC, and along with that, they have comedy shows. I personally think the sports are really cool, and for sports fans, it's a really unique experience to just see events from that angle. However, I don't see that being a way that viewers primarily watch sports using that. Now, with that being said, sports was the cleanest of the three, in my opinion. The comedy show was just a weird angle and it almost just felt odd. It did not feel immersive. It didn't feel like I was in a crowd or anything like that. It just felt like I was really mini watching a huge, huge screen. And the concert also kind of felt the same way. I went to a few of the concerts in Meta Horizons and I just wasn't super impressed. I could see this being kind of cool if you were a big fan of the musician or the comic or the sports team and you were doing this experience with your friends, but Honestly, other than that, I don't think it's anything special. Now, I think the big selling point of this experience is the social scene. But honestly, I still think the social scene is even meh. It's nothing special and it's still developing. I think this is better than Rec Room and VR Chat, in my opinion, because you get a little bit of an older, more mature crowd, which I do appreciate. But I do think that there's not really any maps in Meta Horizon that offer more than 30 minutes of true gameplay or true unique experiences i think a lot of what keeps this game going is just the users being optimistic and enthusiastic and creative whether they're coming up with maps or they're like playing out role plays i think the community does a great job of keeping this game going so in conclusion i wouldn't really recommend playing meta horizons in 2024 unless you have a really good group of friends or you're really looking to just submerge yourself 
into something new and you're willing to be patient and accept that it's a work in progress. This is something that's gonna be really cool to track over time and see how it grows. But again, at this point in time, I don't think it's ready. I think this is like the early stage of the internet when we were all using things like AIM and instant chat and we thought that that's how the internet was gonna be. And yeah, the internet very clearly evolved a whole lot. So I'm just hoping to see the metaverse and virtual reality evolve and hopefully make it in a positive way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Meta Horizons. I'd be curious to see if you agree. If you completely disagree and you think I'm completely wrong, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.